Well, good morning, everyone. Looks like we might have a little bit of clouds today. Not sure about that, but that is so pretty out there. I took some pictures of the sun rising over there, and I will add this to my video. But I just wanted to show you what I see and what I enjoy so much. Why I love this life, because doesn't that look like an ocean? <laughs> it looks like waves coming in. Wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> but anyway, this is just one little reason why I love living free like this. This is what where I'm at looks like. Won't be here much longer, but I thought I'd just give a little walk around and mm, look at this ant bed. Hmm. I've seen quite a few of them around here, too. Oh, and a story. Let me tell you a story. What happened to me the other day. I left my hot dog buns on the picnic table. I figured, okay. Been there a couple of days. Nobody, nothing bothered it. No critters came to it. So yesterday morning, I went and I made myself some bacon and eggs. And I thought, okay, well, you know, I'll just toast the hot dog buns. And uh, I'll have that for breakfast, too. So I go looking, and I'm like, okay, where is it? Where should it go? Can't find it. I looked everywhere. I looked in my cooler. I thought, well, maybe I put it in the cooler. Nope. No hot dog buns. And then I came to the conclusion. Okay. A coyote came up during the night and decided he wanted hot dog buns. So instead of just taking one, which I had four left, instead of just taking one, <laughs> he took all of them, a bag, the whole nine yards. And I'm like, really now? Thank you very much. I really do appreciate that. So today I had to run into town and get some more. I got hamburger buns, but this time it's going in the cooler at night. I am not leaving it out again. I don't mind surprises, but not that kind. And what really surprised me is that it must have been sneaky because my dogs never reacted to it. And they always let me know when something or someone is around at night that may be threatening. I don't know. But anyway, just wanted short, ooh, that's a pretty quart. I like that. Look at that. Oh, I like it. I just thought I'd go around and just show you a little bit of the area where I'm at. I got to get back, but anyway. This is where I'm at, and like I said, not much longer, but it is a nice area. And anyway, talk to you later. Good morning, everybody. Uh, according to my weather forecast, it says it is 51 degrees here, 
and going down to 38 tonight, which is going to be a tad cold. But anyway, it's okay. I can tolerate it. I've got enough blankets. Believe me, I've got enough blankets. I was going to videotape this outside and use what's left of my tripod, but it's too cold for me right now. And since I just got over the flu about a week and a half ago, I don't think I want to be out there. So I am in the car right now, and I am... Uh, facing this out of my, that would be the driver's side. But anyway, oops, sorry about the moving. I wanted to talk today about traveling, traveling alone, especially the women, but the men also, because this also applies to them. Uh, I don't really have fears about traveling alone as far as, uh, other human interactions, I'm not. My biggest fear is mechanical problems, you know, because I am a female and I am driving a fairly, well, it's not new, but it's like seven years old. Yeah, I think it's seven years old. A van, and I am not mechanical with all these electronics. Uh, the old type ones, which I'd like to get me an older van, you know, one that doesn't have all this gizmo. But uh, those I was able to work on. I mean, I could change the spark plugs. I could, jeez, I could do almost anything on them. There are some mechanical issues I couldn't, but that's what a mechanic is for. But anyway, uh, that is my biggest fear. To be driving down the highway, and I don't like going on an interstate. I don't like big cities. I like to go around them. And so I'd be kind of isolated. So if I broke down, I would really be in a pickle, especially since I live in my van, and I have my pets, and I can't leave them behind, and... Uh, what am I going to do if they have to tow it away? And, you know, all these little things that can happen. Um, so, yeah, that is my biggest fear. I do have roadside assistance. I made sure I got that when I decided to go ahead and get on the road and start traveling. Um, and this next stop that I take, I'm going to have my oil changed and possibly get a couple of new tires. Um, but, uh, or at least used, good used tires, I should say. Um, but anyway, it's, the thing is that even men, there's a lot of men out there that are not mechanical. Believe me, I know I was married to one, huh? Knew nothing about mechanics. I knew more than he did. But. There are men out there with the same kind of fear. The only difference is that we are women and they are men. And it's easier. Well, I I guess it is easier for them. Um, but as a woman, I, I don't want to stick my thumb out. I mean, I remember when I was young, I did. I, I used to hitchhike from Florida to Michigan and... All around, it didn't bother me at all. I had no fear. But uh, still, it, it's kind of very unnerving to be stuck in the highway and no place to go and no one around. And with our luck, no cell service. <laughs> that would be terrible if it's a dead zone. Oh, God. <laughs> At least as long as we have access to the cell phone, um, it's okay, you know. I do carry a CB radio, and uh, hopefully there'll be a trucker or somebody out there that can hear it. Uh, my inverter 
has a plug-in for a 12 volt, so I could use that. So I'm not even worried about if the car isn't starting or anything like that. Another thing about traveling alone is you're a target. A female is a target. And we have to be careful who we encounter on the highway. Uh, I've had, well, I had an experience of one guy, <coughs> very nice guy. Oh, my God. He was so sweet, nice, and kind acting. And I mean acting. And when I was ready to go, he wanted to get in my car. Then I had a car. And I said, no, uh-uh. No, thanks. You can't go with me. Oh, but I can help you. No, you can't help me. He said, you understand how I can help you. And I said, do you understand how a forty-five Magnum can help you? Well, he very nicely got out and apologized, and that was okay. But I didn't have a forty-five Magnum. <laughs> By the way, I didn't have one. But he didn't know. So, anyhow, excuse me, i got to reach for my hot chocolate. Um, anyway, we have so many different issues that we may encounter. The one thing that I always say, and I know I've heard a lot of other YouTubers say, pay attention to your surroundings. If you're going to park somewhere because you're tired or because you decided to choose that particular area to boondock at, look at your surroundings. And if your gut says, hmm, this may not be the right place, turn on that vehicle and go to the next one. There's always a good place to be at. Uh... Also, hitchhikers. Oh, I remember when I was young, I mean, I, like I said earlier, I used to hitchhike. And I used to pick up hitchhikers. Today, I'm sorry. I don't care if you're a male or a female or a female with children or a male with children. I do not pick up hitchhikers. And neither should you, because you don't know who's hiding behind that bush when you stop to be the good Samaritan. I believe in being a good Samaritan, but I also believe in being wise. And this goes for the men, too, because a man is more likely nowadays to pick up a hitchhiker than a woman is. We've learned a lot in the last 15, 20 years, you know, do not pick up hitchhikers. So, this goes for the men, too. You all have got to be careful. Don't use your heart. Use your brain. Hey, that's a good one. Use your brain. Um, if you have any other ideas about traveling alone, um, go ahead and post it in your comments. I would appreciate any ideas aside from what I've said. And I know there's others, but my mind goes blank at times. But anyway, um, yeah, post it on the comments. I would appreciate that. And, hey, by the way, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And thank you all, and peace be with you.